A three weeks training of agro stakeholders in safe use of agrochemicals, field pest and disease diagnosis, and how to give recommendation to farmers has been concluded. Most farmers reported a lack of knowledge of which agrochemicals to apply onto their crops, causing damage. Then you must remember the fact that we consider to ensure safety to those four. The Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Centre for Agriculture and Biosciences International, together with Zirobu Agari Yawamu Agribusiness Training Association, have trained over 68 youth extension workers, agro-input dealers from five districts of Ruero, Nakaseke, Nakasongora, Wachiso, Mukono and Kayunga district in agrochemical use. I am a trainer for plant doctors and I'm here to equip the youths with skills and knowledge on how to identify uh, pests and diseases that uh, destroy um, and affect the production of our farmers. So we look into elements of uh, how farmers can judiciously use uh, pesticides uh, based on the economic injury levels of the pests in the field. And that's what some of these youth we train them in to be able to help farmers to diagnose and act appropriately. And of course there are also other food safety elements. Some of them relate to mycotoxins, which we know very well, uh, particularly affecting uh, maize, affecting groundnuts and other cereals, which have posed threat to our production system. For this training, number one, I've got to know the real pests what causes the viruses, what plants are affected by the viruses, what plants are affected by the bacteria, of which in school we do more of theory than practical. To mitigate further farmers' losses, the trainees were also introduced to plant clinics and advised them to solve farmers' problems. Farmer advisory, where we continue to strengthen our plant clinic model, which greatly resonates with the parish model and empowering our smallholder communities with the right tools, right information and equipping them so that they can improve their livelihood through increased incomes from better production processes and productivity elements. Whereby our, uh, our slogan is grow more lose less of what you produce. The Executive Director, Zero Agari Aomo Agribusiness Training Association Godfrey Mayambara thanked the Minister of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Center for Agriculture and Biosciences International for the initiative support. One of the things that we are focused on is to complement government efforts. To see that if we only have one extension work at the sub-county and we have more youth that are being trained to go and support farmers. For us as a farm organization, we think that that is increasing capacity of extension that will help us to support our farmers to be in a position to produce what we want in the right time. Once other districts in the country receive training in field pest and disease diagnosis and how to aid farmers and safe use of agrochemicals, this will help boost the parish development model to benefit many farmers. I'm Joseph Bure, UBC.